Darren, so coming out of a successful festive period with the two derby wins, what are your reflections? No, we were really pleased. You know, they're, they're good games. I think I said before the first game, I like the derbies. They're kind of a, they're in my lane, if you like, um, with the with the nature of the games and the nature of the atmosphere. Um, I was really pleased with the players. Really pleased with their um, their performance levels. More so their determination and the way they reflected probably the supporters of our football club uh, onto Aldershot and you know and we showed how much those uh, games and the results of those games meant to us <coughs> in our performance um, and you know I'm, I was proud of the players for, for doing that because they can be tricky games derbies um, so I was, I was very pleased with them in, in that sense I thought they are uh, focus and concentration of our tactical structure, our play, set plays, everything I thought was really, really strong and no, they did well and it was nice to, I felt after the second game up, I, I just felt that we kind of re-found that high level again, um, that high level of performance and um, when since I've watched it back, you know, it just reiterated and when Ian presented the analysis and the footage of the last game to the players it, it really did highlight how well they they played and they their harmony as a team and everyone was very much in unison so no it was a good it was a good spell for us it was a good spell for us um, and we need to make sure now that the, the result Saturday is not in sorry the two results we've had are not in vain and we you know we do our best to get a result Saturday. And you touched on it there over the season, but obviously over Christmas as well, the team have been superb to a man. Just, but just how impressed have you been with Reece Brown obviously coming in during the season? He's hit the ground running, hasn't he? Um, did he hit the ground running? It, to, a, to an extent, look, he's a centre forward. He has to be involved in the creation or the execution of goals. Um, and, and he definitely did that. Um, what he's done, what I've been really pleased uh, with him Four is is improved professionalism. Really, really um, taken the standards of the Armands, Cuthberts, Inces, all of the 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 squad, the the real high level of profession that we have. He's really embraced that. Really embraced that. And you're always wondering whether new players will. Um, and if we do work in this uh, window. You know, that'll be the same sort of thing I'll be thinking about. Can the players come in and embrace the professional standards of some of our players? Um, so I've been really pleased with his professionalism. Outstanding. And what we're seeing now is we're seeing a, a, a much fitter Reese Brown. And because he's fit and because he's happy and because he's contributing to wins, that's a pretty decent formula to confidence. And confidence, as we know, is, is a glow that, that can light anyone up to make them feel and produce better performances. So he's done really well and good guy, really good guy. Enjoy spending time with him. Um, he's a good trainer, really good trainer. Uh, and now he's, he's, he's really um, performing for us on the pitch. The next up, Daniel on Saturday. Um, we beat them obviously early in the season, but what can we expect from them this weekend? Well, the, the game, it was our first win and it was tight anyway. The game, two set plays, I think two corners, I think won it for uh, won it for us. So the game was tight anyway in terms of chances and things like that. And really difficult game. This game, really difficult. Daryl's very good. Always got a strong squad of players. Always well resourced. Um, and it being away from home at their place and with the form they're in, because actually in terms of points, they're in better form than us in the last six. Um, it, it, this will be a tough game, you know, a really tough game. And we need to we need to ensure that, like I said, the two performances and wins over Christmas um, are not in vain. And we have to be really, really um, optimal when it comes to Saturday, defensively in particular. Always quite a creative team, Daryl's teams, um, and uh, you know defensively we're going to have to be really organised. 
and the players are going to have to put in a you know an extraordinary effort to to get an extraordinary outcome. And going into Saturday, the second half of the season, really, how's the squad looking? Um, we had an injury in training yesterday. Uh, I won't say to who or whom. Um, that will that will change things for us. Anderson's obviously suspended. Um, Wilkinson's back in training, which is nice. So he'll be, he'll probably be, hopefully, available for Scunthorpe. Um, Cox and Nelson are still out. As, uh, but we're hoping Ricky will be available for selection. If Ricky's available for selection, that. Um, that would be a good addition for us because before he got injured, well, the game at Bromley where he got injured, he was really terrific, really terrific. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so we're still quite thin. We're still quite bare. Um, but after the results, Christmas and New Year, you know, I spoke with John and Drew and this is the time now to, to try and recruit again. So we may... We may have recruited before the weekend. Thanks for your time and best of luck. Are you?